So yesterday, we caught a unicorn, put it in the vivarium for the first time. We unlocked the vivarium as well, caught other animals. Oh, jeez. This is so cool. We progressed through the main story. We're about 30% through the main story, level 26 now. Wait, why is my... my... You see that? It's like all rainbow colored. It's really distorted. Now to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Defendo. Levioso. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Hmm. Maybe freeze it? I have so many freaking spells I can't keep up. Places. Really? Okay. Illusional. Is the game linear? It is linear. Um, apparently there might be two different endings. We don't know yet, though. I was hoping there would be multiple endings, like Witcher. These puzzles, good luck. So far, the puzzles haven't been too bad. I haven't been stuck on any of them like I did with Dead Space Remake. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Did I die? What? I think I died. Okay. God damn, this is dangerous. No, no, no. Running start. They really said you want more spells? Here you go. Yeah, that's the thing. I have so many already, but... There's, there's maybe, maybe only three fourths. It's just hard because I have to go through four different spell sets to find all the spells I want because I like to use all of them during fights. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. God damn it. Uh, okay. We don't know what to do with this yet. Um, let's Accio this way. Without dying. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, look. This is such a weird place. Maybe I can put that out somehow? Hmm. What is that lamp there for? That's that's a really weird lamp. Tetris minigame, yeah. Chat, what's your favorite puzzle or minigame in Hogwarts Legacy? For me, I really love... Well, the, the, the flying is fun. It's like the closest to Quidditch we'll get. But I really love the uh, summoner's court where you have the balls and you have to like... Accio the balls, but you have to time it, and you can also hit other players' balls off. It's really fun. The only thing is, um, you can only play it a couple times with the AI, and then when it's done, it's done. So maybe when I'm done with the game, I'll have more chances to play, because I really want to, but sometimes the NPCs aren't there. All right, let's climb this way now. Yeah. Wait, what? That's it? What, what is that? Don't tell me I did the puzzle. That wasn't too hard. I wonder what's next. What? I didn't do anything. I didn't even interact with that thing. You're telling me I just had to climb? This this whole thing is not a puzzle. It means nothing. This was the warm up. Okay. Okay. Accio. Oh! <laughs> Good 
Yeah, this really is Tetris. The hell? What is this thing supposed to do? I don't get it. Squish. Freaking Tetris. Now they're stuck together? Oh, I understand. Okay. You just separate them with the other blocks. Kind of cool, but easy, easy. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Just one left. Revelio. You said this was hard? Shh, chat. It's only hard if you try and get chests. Oh, I left loot back there is what you're saying. Ooh, you're sa so you're saying. I don't know what the hell this is. What the fuck am I supposed to? Confringo. I missed a chest. Okay, well then I must go back. There's no question. It won't be a hundred percent playthrough, will it? Unless I get this chest. My basic attack. I see. Are you kidding me? reset everything. <laughs> Good to know. All right, it's just a reset anyway. But I could also just die to reset. That works. Oops. The loot must be worth. Well, all loot is worth it. All loot is worth it. Hmm. Oh, it's like stuck together. It can't come back apart now. Okay, let's see if we can make this jump. It'd be nice if I had a potion that could help me jump farther. Or maybe I can jump and then dash? Wait. I can't jump and then dash. How crazy is it that I turn into Sonic? <laughs> Must get loot. There's also this thing. I think that lamp has to do something. Oh, wait. Actually, I think I can cheese it. I think I can cheese it. That was close. Sonic or Siri? True. I think I can do this. What? You could have totally grabbed that. She could have grabbed that. One more time. Ugh, okay, well, well, she could have grabbed it the first time, whatever. Um. I, I, I understand. Let's see. Okay, ready? Okay, okay. We don't want those to be connected. You could use your broom. I know, I know. It's too easy. Can you move the blocks next to that bridge? Um, it's because it goes side to side, there needs to be a way that it can go through, but it doesn't. Different spell? Wait, can we use different spells? Like the Pulso? For example? Let's see. Lumos. Oh, you can use the Pulso too. 
True. Okay, nice, nice. Hmm. Oh, so there's a way we can interrupt. Ah, maybe we can time it then. I didn't think you could time it. All right, let's let's see if that works. No, you can't. It's so fast. It's too fast. Hmm. Oh, I see it. 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 I think we just need to get that third one. Yeah, okay. Freaking see it. Need to get it over there. Not it killing me. What if I could do it while I'm on it? Okay. I mean, she could totally reach that, but that's whatever. Okay. Hmm. I see it. I see it. There it is. I see it. Whee! There we go. All right, easy. We got it. Last one. I got a fedora. Was it worth it? Good old fedora. It's a night killer. Eridonia was a Depulso expert. Yeah. Apparently. Oh, wait, what? I'm like accurate away, I see. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Random Disney music. I guess they can't split up either, can they? They can't split up. Oh, okay. Okay. So they have to go all the way through. What? What do you mean? Why, why can't I go there? Can't go there? I swear I can just make this jump. Ah, no, I can't. <laughs> hmm. The arch blocking? I feel like I could still go one, though. Anterior design said no. Last one. We can do this. We can do... I, I need to go on top so we can... Ride it across instead. Mm. Hell yeah. There we go. There we go. Heck yes. Easy. I just need to get on top of it, and then we can just ride all the way there, you know? If only I could just, like... What? Come on. Okay, I think I can just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get on it really fast. Ready? Oh, it doesn't let me until I'm done with the, the spell. Oh, that's lame. I feel like I could, I could jump to that. If I fall down there, we're not gonna get back up. Hmm. 
I'm so close. We can do this. All right, let's bring it back this way. Hmm. Damn it. I'm doing it right? I mean, I, I wish I could just hop on real quick. Go for a little ride. We got the chest. We just need to get across. You can? I don't think I can. Accio. I was thinking I could just like sit here, Accio it or Depulso it, but no, it doesn't let me. It's easier to reset than go across, in my opinion. I see it. I see it. Oops. Just gotta see it. Wait, but now I'm like, oh no. Uh, don't fall off. No, no. <laughs> I have to depulsal from the from the side. Oh, you can reset again. Wow, big brain. All right, I take I don't take credit for that. Chat, that's that's really smart of you. Look at you guys, bunch of Ravenclaws. Yeah. Using the reset. That's the last Big brain them. chat. Seems I was a match for Herodi. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. Using I the reset multiple times. To see this. Usually in games like that, you think that resetting would put you back to where you started too, but it doesn't. Points to chat, which most of chat are Hufflepuff, so I will say points to Hufflepuff. All right, there. Lumos. Is this Gaunt? Gaunt, are you good? What are you doing? Gaunt, why are you sitting by yourself? Lependo. I wish. Lumos. Ominous. Lucan Brattleby must have nearly wet himself when you won every single crossed once battle. Okay. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Is that matcha? No, it's like a green, healthy drink. <laughs> you finished the Depulso puzzles, not all of them. There's a lot of Merlin puzzles I haven't finished What's either. In oh. Merlin's name, what are you doing in the restricted section? What did you think you'd find there? Answers to your exams? <laughs> if I discover even a trace of dark magic, I'll take you straight out of school, and that is a promise. That's so great. I love that. I don't love how the NPCs kind of just like snap back into, all right, move on, M move along. <laughs> but. Whoa, Jesus. Wait, does this have something to do with. What are these puzzles? Oh, what is this? But then... Lumos. Maybe I need to come back at night? Or... Hmm, I don't know if this is a puzzle or just some weird looking eyeballs, but... Just decor? Yeah, it might be just decor. Speaking of decor, that's so cool. This dragon. That's awesome. <gasps> Can we break into the office? Oh, she's here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just breaking into your office. Damn. Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Minister's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. 
Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig oh. of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. So what happened to her is that apparently she was cursed with something and she aged really fast. So she's like, I think she's only like 30 years old, but she looks like a 60 year old. That sucks. Have you made peace with the time you've lost? Oh, or I think she actually I don't physically aged know too, not how just- How much time I have like, lost. Without saying more, perhaps whatever time I've lost was in exchange for time gained. Terrible and curse, to dwell yeah. on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. 60's the point, new 30. No magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. So it's not yes. that she looks older. I can tell she you that is my older. years at the ministry were well spent. 30 years of your life wasted. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I oh. was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. Yes, Professor. Damn, imagine getting cursed. And it aged you like 30 years, not just by looks, but literally took 30 years off your life. That is insane. It's, yeah, it's really, really effed up. Oh, we forgot. There's one bug, one feature. Every time I start the game, we have to turn our sharpness back on. Because it looks a bit washed out without it. Whoa. Chat, what's your favorite holiday to celebrate at Hogwarts? I think it would be so cute to celebrate Valentine's Day at Hogwarts. Sending love letters, but they're like animated, you know, and they fly around and love potions and chocolates and then also like stink bombs, people you don't like and like pranks to people. I think that's just so fun. I think that's so fun. The Hall of I think Halloween would be terrifying at Hogwarts. You go into the forest, there's giant spiders. There's dementors. There's freaking vampires, like literal vampires and werewolves that could rip your head off. So I think that'd be kind of terrifying. Cool, but terrifying. Like there's lit, there's real ghosts. <laughs> yeah, I think they're the most realistic Halloween, that's for sure. The graveyards have actual ghosts. I guess that's really cool in a way too, though. Well, yeah. Did you find the hall? Of I mean, most of the monsters are friendly. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Hmm. For a fee. Of course, but not for free. That wasn't easy. Of course, of course, I pay anything. Yes. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. I do. What am I wearing? Oh, my second favorite hero. Second favorite. Wait. What? What's the outfit? I didn't even get to see it. I got a fedora. <laughs> And then I got a locked cloak that I haven't seen yet. What is she talking about? <laughs> Lumos. Augustus Hill just wants me to buy something, no? He's always talking. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Okay, I guess we already got this one. I guess it is, it is already floating, isn't it? I thought I like opened up. I don't remember. But it shows there's a chest upstairs. 
we still have not figured out the Ravenclaw puzzle yet. Um, I think there's something in the game that will tell me how to figure it out. We just don't know it yet. I don't want to know it yet. Oh, yeah, we did divination and astrology yesterday or astronomy. Same thing. There is a chest Rebellion. here somewhere. Behind this wall. It's so freaking cool. Go to math class, I know. I ain't no Ravenclaw. There's a cape for one, it looks awesome. Okay, I guess I have to unlock it first. It might be a lower level. Ah, I see. There, are, the chest is inside here. That's why. Off on another adventure. The high keep. All right, let's do some flying. And figure out what happened to Bardolph Beaumont. A side quest. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Are those dragon glasses? Yes, they are. It's like a place right out of a storybook. It's a tender. I really wish we could prank the students. I want to pop their kites. I want to throw stink bombs at them. It's a cool looking kite though. Yeah, why don't we have pranks? Like, why, why can't I buy? Toys at Zonko's and prank the students with them. Revelia. What do we have here? The demi guys. Oh yes. Accio. I love that. Accio loot. Revelia. You can even Accio the giant bags, too. Alright, so there is a Demi, guys, it looks like, in here. Where is it? Oh, so the only thing that I don't like is you have to wait until night to collect them. And I like to play during the day, it's much more colorful. So I just have to keep skipping Fine time. Now, Demi guys. Lumos. Uh, hey, lady, are you all right? Do you need some help getting inside your door? Ah, uh, it's it's leg day. Yeah, it's it's just leg day. Um, a lot of the a lot of the the, the NPCs like to just. Have leg day, you know? I feel that. Skyrim vibes. Huh. Huh. More. Wizard treadmill. Ah, so that's what that that lady in Witcher was using when she was walking in air. She was using a wizard's treadmill. That's why she was like walking down the the steps in Witcher. Revelio. It makes sense now. Lumos. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today?
Aren't you the student who ran all those goblin loyalists off? I can't tell you what a relief that was to him. I hope to see you again Why, sometime. yes, I am. Yes. That's Rebellion. sick. The NPCs will just talk about you. So cool. But then, I think they talk shit if you use the dark arts. There's something here. Oh. Lumos. Look at this. Is this a is this a uh a, a dragon skeleton? What the hell happened here? Revelio. Hybridian black scale. The Hybridian black is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters. Large rough scale, originally belonging to one of these beasts, is one of these prize one of the prized possessions of the Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. <laughs> Kept in his hideout is a pretty large dragon. What's up, Momo? No responsible parent would send their kid here. Damn it! I need to get my Mallow Sweet. It's back at the I know castle. What that means. Damn it! Malin trial. <laughs> okay, we'll fast travel real quick. How is it that I'm the only person that runs out of Mallow Sweet? You didn't grab the demi guys, by the way. Wait, what? Yes, I. Yes, I did. What? Nothing to identify, for now at least. Did I not? Revelio. Oh, we should check on our animals. Actually, I did buy a toy blueprint. So let's open it up and see. We have a unicorn chat. Well, hello there. This is Roach. She's doing very well. Don't poke me, please. Oh my gosh, and this is Albus, my really weird looking Dalmatian. Chat, what's your favorite Fantastic Beast? I think mine's a Niffler. They're so cute, but I haven't found one yet in the wilds. Also, I need to get more Bavariums because this thing looks so weird. Um, I can't fit anymore. The moon calves, yeah, they look like like a giraffe and a dog had a baby. What is a bow truckle? I've heard Hagrid talk about them, but I've never actually seen one. <laughs> I've been playing this on normal. Is it a big difference on hard? I would say that hard difficulty feels like normal difficulty for every other game. Like th this game, it feels so easy that hard should be the normal, honestly. I recommend hard difficulty just so you have a little bit more of a challenge and it it's not a cakewalk. You can actually spend longer on the game and make it a little bit more realistic. You need disillusion spell for chess with eyes on them. I do have that. I have been doing that. Hey, Mr. Sheppy. Okay, so we bought a toy chest. Let's see. How do I... Okay, we're gonna conjure it. Oh my gosh, a toy box. Here we go. 
I also have an auto feeder. Disable snap. L2. L2 hold disable snap. That's what I'm doing, but it's still not. It's still kind of snapping, I think. Whatever. Whoa! That's so cool. Come get your food. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I would use hard difficulty just so you can milk the game too. I meet your food. Oh, wow. It feeds, it literally feeds them. Oh, that's crazy. They don't even have to go eat out of the barrel. These, these animals are so spoiled. What the hell? I'm a bad parent. With my beast, I just breed, sell, and take their drops. Trust me, I'm going to be a breeder as well. I'm just waiting to buy the breeding pen, and then it's on. Is it normal to use a lot of health potions, though? I don't know if I'm just not great at combat or that's normal. It is normal. Um, I will definitely use a, a few health potions per, like, big fight. Yeah. Especially with the trials, I think I used like seven health potions when I was doing the the Dark Arts Arena. That was like five waves of enemies. I was using probably like seven or eight health potions for that Dark Arts Arena. Especially in the beginning when you have the learning curve, you don't have the best spells yet. You're not really comfortable with what to use and you don't really know the combos and the weaknesses. And then you haven't even added traits and upgrades to your, your outfits. Yeah. I heard though, when you get farther along in the game, you start to become OP with the the better uh, weapons and, and armor, or weapons, sorry. The better um, like build that you have. Ooh, Quaffle. So cute. Can I choose multiple at a time? Aw, I can only choose one at a time? Dark wizard dummy. <laughs> Boogie ball. Unpoppable bubble. Why is it so cute? All right, come play with this quaffle. I'm heading out. Have fun. Actually, can, can I give me Accio? You, come here. Oh, sorry. Come here. Whee, come on. <laughs> All right, come here. Come here. No, no, come back. Come play with the ball. Come play with it. Play with it! Oh, wait! No. Oh. Oh, that was a goal. That was a goal right there. They only like moon balls. Oh, certain species only play with specific toys. I wonder what plays with the quaffle then. Hmm. The unicorn probably wants the gold ball. Oh, no, that's, Nif that's a Niffler. That's a Niffler. Oh, it says right here. So the Floopers and Jobbernals and Phoenixes like the Quaffle. It seems like the unicorn will probably play with the bubble. Yeah. So I actually do need multiple toy boxes for each species. Okay, that's cool. Here you go. Yes, they're coming. They're coming. 
They're coming! Oh my god, so cute. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> Okay, I kind of love these weird dogs. This is Draco and Snape. No, that's Albus and Draco. Oh my god. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> I, uh, like, wow, cuteness. Dying from cuteness. Oh, so cute. Okay. I need more. I need every type of animal. Whoa, I can actually see through this into my room of requirement. That's such a cool aspect. Like, wow. That is so cool. Yeah, I, I put a Christmas tree here, but it's actually uh, Halloween. Sorry, what was I doing? Sidetracked simulator. Is it the same streamer that was practicing hexes on animals? I wasn't using hexes. I was using Flipendo and Levioso. I was just making cats do some flips, okay? I didn't Crucio them. Come on, I'm not a Slytherin, all right? Just wanna have a little fun. I got a Niffler face Things mask from a side quest. It's so cute. A face mask? That means you're wearing a Niffler skin on your face? I don't think that's cute at all. It sounds pretty dark. Yet. I don't have Crucio anyway. I don't have it yet. But I don't think you can even use the, the hexes on any animals or, or students. Because if you could, I would be flipendoing students. Actually, wait, I guess I could use it on the animals. Yes, yes, Emma, I, I did, I did. I remember now. <laughs> Your character looks exactly like you. Yeah, but unfortunately she has more drip than I do. What is this? Bonk. You shouldn't go about some. Damn. I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. Yeah, you murdered him. He was going about his day. And he blinked and he was dead. Revelio. waterfall it's so cool oh yeah we've actually seen the hogwarts express train go through the station and i haven't been able to catch it yet i'm hoping i can maybe get on top or ride it or something see where it goes but this is max settings this is high settings with dlss on quality It is way too easy to get sidetracked. There's a Steam achievement to flipendo 10 cows. Perfect. I've already flipendoed three. I'm, I'm almost, I'm getting there. Yeah. 
shit. What the hell is happening here? Oh, it's a graveyard. And the dead's rising out of the graves. Only fire hurts them, it looks like. Yeah, only fire. Wow. Rebellion. I guess I could, like, Accio or freeze them while I do it. Yeah, I could. Oh, not everything. to hell where you came from Jesus Christ why is why is every single I just defiled so many graves. All these people here. I killed them. For a second time. Nothing else here? Oh, I see some money. No, just a head. Just some skulls. Rebellion. <gasps> All right. What's up, damn straight? This is Dark Souls now. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're in Fury. That's what they are. Once they're on fire, everything hurts them like normal. Yeah, I was noticing like after they were light on fire, then it started. Then I started doing some good damage. Looting their graves. I wish. I wish. There really wasn't much loot. I only got to loot their heads. No! Oh wow, this area is so pretty. Look at the stream. That's it. The stream is gorgeous. Aw, oh, darn. What? Why? I guess because it's too close to the to the uh the invisible wall. I hate being limited by this invisible wall. But, I mean, they gotta stop somewhere. I get it. Yeah, there it is. I guess you could say, isn't there an actual force field that protects Hogwarts from muggles? I'm pretty sure there is. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Even though we know the, the reason why they put this wall here, but from a lore perspective, there actually is a force field that protects Hogwarts and Hogsmeade from the Muggle world, and it's something to do with if Muggles get too close to Hogwarts, they suddenly, um, like, forgot they had to do something at home, or, like, forgot the stove was on, and they run home or something. It's so cool. Um, it's an actual thing, so I love that. 
the immersion. I don't know if it's my stream, but it looks kind of pixelated. Are you watching on 1080p 60 frames? Because sometimes on Twitch, um, it'll automatically put you at a lower resolution by default. So for me, when I watch people, it'll automatically put 720p. But it shouldn't be pixelated because of my dual PC, so that's really weird. Um, super weird. Hmm. Oh, also, Key, thank you for the 54-month resub. That is so insane. Thank you so much, Keith. Long, long resub. I appreciate that. Yeah, it should not be pixelated. I set up a dual PC for this game, but it happens sometimes. Oh shit, is this a circus? What the hell is this? Goodness. Oh fuck. If I could battle them no. while on the broom, it would be it would be so You're overpowered. Met your match, I'm afraid. You're the one that got our goblin helm. Well, their goblin helm, but then the stupid one. That all you got? Expulsion! Stupid one. Then bring it up. Stupid one. Expulsion! Stupid one. It won't work at me. Uh, it looked like it worked on you. That's that's weird. You said you said it. You hear what he said? He said I've I've seen you use Expelliarmus a lot of times. It won't work on me, and then it did. to eat some chicken nuggets. No match for me. <laughs> you will pay God damn, for there's so team. many of them. There's so many. You put quite a few of my friends. We're only delaying Where's that goblin helm, you little thief? Incendio! Fuck! Someone's taking it. Oh, that's clever! Incendio! Glacius! My god, I love how they just turned into like a, a, a... Like a block. Like an ice statue. Some loot. 
use plants. Let them do the work. You're right. I actually have a lot of plants that I never use. You're totally right. But I think this is the last person, so... Well, I'll have to remember that. I always forget to use my plants. I got chomping cabbages and mandrakes and venomous tentacula and leaves and... Here we go. Cabbages! Get them! Get them! I feel like if uh, this was after The Last Airbender, this would be what the cabbage guy does as a strat. My cabbages! And there's like 50 cabbages just attacking them. Cabbage! Imagine dying to a cabbage. Oh! No, I dropped my cabbage. Come on, get him, get him, get him, kill him. There we go. Yeah, yeah, fuck him up. <laughs> it's so satisfying. But it just takes a lot, a long time to grow all those plants that, that you need, so. Yeah. Cabbages are kind of overpowered. We need a new Avatar open world game. We do. We, an airbending game. I thought Forspoken was going to be the new Avatar, the last airbender type of game. I was like, wow, I get to be the Avatar. I'm bending all the elements. Is that do you really think? This is one of the only games this year that has exceeded my expectations. Every other game this year has been a disappointment. I think every game I've played... Every game that was so overhyped did not meet my expectations except for Elden Ring. Elden Ring and then this game. And it's been about a year since Elden Ring, so... That kind of sucks. But most of the uh, other single-player RPGs were just, like, mid. Some were kind of bad. This looks like trouble. There's more. Hey, do you want to see my cabbage? Cabbage! Oh, I'm out of cabbages. Um, venomous tentacula. Do they, like, spit at them? Oh yeah, they do. They shoot poison. <laughs> Don't try that expelliarum. <laughs> it lasts a while. I shall get that. I think one really. You some of those wizards were friends of mine. <laughs> so, okay, I think what's really cool is if you use a spell right before you're about to dodge, she'll say it like this. Well, like, uh, actually, if you're about to use it and then you dodge, she'll say Confringo and then... When I get back up to use it, she doesn't say it twice. She just does it. If you notice that, um, let me see if she'll do it again. It was like I, I went to Confringo, but he also does. Uh, he shot a spell at me at the same time, so I was like, "Oh shit! I gotta dodge really quick and then shoot it." So that was a really cool thing. Uh, I've seen it happen a couple times. How did I do it? I'll try again. It was like I, I hit Confringo and she said it, but then I didn't actually shoot it. It was delayed until after I dodged. Oh, here we go. Defender. All right. We just need to get 10 cows. Maybe 10 different cows. Maybe it's 10 different cows. We. You can keep doing it to the same cow? Oh, well, I must have hit 10 by now, then. Oh my god! <laughs> I think 
I hit 10 by now. <laughs> I didn't know you could do it multiple times. Oh, let's make sure we got everything in there real quick. For some reason, I can't enter while mounted. Oh wait! Trouble's brewing. Now I can't. And I'm without my friends. What friends? You mean Sebastian? Poppy and Natty are, are more like acquaintances. We don't know them well enough. Seems harshness has her mind set to follow. <laughs> And be sure to oh, there's more. I seem to recall last time you put the thing out. Revelio. Sebastian is a real G. Hope he doesn't stab me in the back. I can feel your inner Slytherin flowing, I know. Yeah. Oh shit, what the? Hey, I didn't know you were here. Oh wow, he looks angry. He looks like Korra. And Korra gives me that stare. He's angry. Alohomora. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God, I wish I could uh, capture the caged animals, but it doesn't let me. Because some of the caged animals are nifflers. I don't have nifflers yet. Some of them uh, are really rare. I don't have some of the colors. Bye. Sorry, I had to try once. Yay. Let's go. Revelio. Oh, there's a straggler. Ah, how you let Nora Treadwell? <laughs> Wait, can I? Oh my gosh, really? It's like a Mad Eye Moody. He just turns into a chicken, then disappears from existence, like Thanos. Revelio. If he's gonna disappear, why do I need to turn him into a chicken? What the hell? There's a level three lock here. But you can just walk through the empty door way. Why, why would you unlock the gate when you can just walk through here? Revelia. Wait, what? There's a skull Goodness. inside the wall. To attend by myself. There's a skull inside this wall. Okay. I keep missing loot. God damn. Really? Get the hell out of here. Madam Kagawa. Actually, we can return to her after we do uh, another side quest in this area. Pat Moji, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you so much, Pat, for subbing. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. It's far. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. What's up, Tater? Mm. 
borderline animal abuse. Nah, they they like it. It's 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 like it's like going on a roller coaster or like a swing. They they enjoy it. I can't believe Elden Ring's almost one year old. I know. Uh, I think the Elden Ring anniversary is like this week. Oh, I haven't played Fable, but I've heard really good things about it. Oh, okay. One sec, guys. Right. Fable, I know I've, I've had a lot of recommendations to check out Fable because I love uh, open world RPGs. Discover what happened to Bardolf Bayo Beaumont. Beaumont. So this is an interesting quest. We walked into a house in one of the towns outside of Hogwarts and Hogsmeade and we found this abandoned house but i had a bunch of letters saying that this guy was missing um i forget i have to like refresh on the lore but we're finally doing that quest so Furious wearing a white jumper. That must be Bardo. <gasps> Bardo is it in fury now? I'm not sure Madame Beaumont would want to know what really happened to him. There's so many animals here. I need them. Each animal is like 120 galleons. Everything's all right now. They are flying rats with money. It's like Pokemon. It is, yeah. Apparently they're shiny I'll look after beasts. You. Have you guys found any shiny beasts yet? Lumos. I see a lot of charm from Fable in this game. I've seen a lot of people compare uh, aspects of this game that the devs were inspired by from Witcher and also Breath of the Wild. Revelio. I haven't played Fable. Um, I've just heard really good things about it, so. Journal entry two of two. I'm repulsed by what I've just witnessed. They've created in Furies, a corpse mutilated come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing, Think they saw through me i need to convince them i'm not a spy i'm not here to undermine them if i don't i fear i could be next barred off this mentions in theory and something about it being Bardolf's turn next Revelio. oh hi chickens We do see that there's something underneath here. 
Because there's chest. There's a chest there. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, what is that? That sound. Ma'am, why are you walking around the Forbidden Forest at night alone? Well, this is all, man. If it isn't, Nora Treadwell's guardian. Closer. Ah. Careful now. Thought we'd forget about her. Oh, here to show me some dark magic, are you? Oh, he said. <laughs> You're to show me, show me some dark magic, are you? How does he know I was in the dark arts arena? I don't have the spells unlocked outside of that arena. <sighs> Should we go get another unicorn? Yeah, that girl was not bothered at all by these thugs. So there's a unicorn right here, I think. Now it's ancient magic. Hmm. Oh, we can actually unlock the astronomy tables now. Let's see if there's another unicorn since it's been a couple of days. Here we go. It's right there. You just have to be really quiet. Because I only found one last time. Russell Sprouts, thank you for the prime. Thank you very much for using your prime on me. Appreciate that, Russell. Welcome in. Enjoy the emotes. Yeah, just a romantic stroll to the Forbidden Forest. Chat, you guys wouldn't go on a romantic date in the Forbidden Forest? Lumos. Oh, there's one right there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait. Oh no! No, no, no! Avelia. There's only one. No, 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 come back, come back! Maybe I can Levioso it. Freeze it. I wonder if I can freeze it. Levioso. So close. Okay, nice. Yes, let's go. Professor Howen will never believe this. Let's go. Revelia. So only one spawns every few days. I heard some. How unfortunate for you. There's so many poachers. It's insane. You're the little son that's out. Who taught you that? Who taught you that? Hunting's unavailable. Can I pick up his loot? It's so hard to see. There we go. Alright, get me out of here. It's dark. It's dark and scary. There's too many poachers. They spawn just so many of them. Wonder who lives here. Thank 
Lumos. For all that you've done for us. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. What's up, Kai? Ooh, your brother is dead. Madam Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. What do we do, chat? Do we lie or tell the truth? I think we shouldn't lie because in Witcher, if you lie, there's consequences. And then she'll never get closure, right? She'll never get closure. She'll still be looking for her brother. She'll probably get mad if she finds out, you know? Damn. Next playthrough, we'll, we'll do our villain run. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior. And I had to kill him. What? But you don't have to say the last part. How could part. you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no, no, this can't be. <sighs> um, I'm truly my God. sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Bardolf. That's it? That's the quest? That's the quest. Lumos. Wow, a whole like story and lore of Bardolf, he went missing, and all these things, and then this guy is looking for Bardolf, and then Bardolf went to the forest, but he's also connected to these guys, and blah, blah, blah. And then he's dead. The end. Oh my gosh, guys, you're right. Every time you give 10 galleons to this, um, to this, to this street performer, he gets a new instrument. He started with one, and then he got the snake, and now he has a loot. So every time I tip him, he gets a fourth. Next time I see him. So in a couple days time, he'll have a fourth instrument. That's so cool, I love that. Scam. It's not a scam, he gets new instruments. Every time you tip him. I think that's worth it, that's worth it. Now she's haunted forever. I just click on stream and you admit to murder. What else is new? Right back, I'm gonna warm up my Whatever these oh, things you. are. The good you've done on behalf of the Alpha Hogsfield resident. Bardolf, you wouldn't have left without saying goodbye. I should have done more. I shall never forgive myself. Bardolf, you wouldn't have left without saying good. I should have done more. I shall never forgive myself. Bardolf, you wouldn't. More. I shall never forgive myself. Are you able to ride that unicorn you got yesterday? <gasps> I don't know. It would be sick if I could. But we can breed the unicorns and have unicorn babies. I tipped him and he said, don't do that. I thought I stole his tips. <laughs> I think it was maybe someone in the crowd. Hmm. Weird. Okay, next quest. Let's go. I get sidetracked. So easy to get sidetracked. We have to meet Natty near the castle. Turn Demi guys. Let's see. Oh, I don't have Defindo yet or Arrest or uh, Arrest no Momentum. So let's do this one. I need to use an uh, visibility potion and Thunder Brew against enemies. Do I have Thunder? I do. So we can we can use both. Let's do it. 
Yeah, Defendo and Arresto Momentum. We need those. Aw, oh, this garden's so cute. All right. Let's go this find some enemies real quick. If I'm not careful. That was easy. Oh, there's a lot of inferior here. Ow. Let me open. Oh, Thunderbrew is cool. That's sick. That's really sick. It's so cool. I love that. I mean, I can barely see, but it's cool. Wow, this is, it's still going on. Jeez. <laughs> wow, this is a really long lasting potion. God, that's good. That's that's so cool. I need to use my potions and my my plants more often. Damn. Lumos. Rebellion. Oh, and then before we head back and get those two new spells. We no, just no did He's likely studied here. astronomy yesterday, or is it astrology? I think astrology is the horoscopes, astronomy is the stars. So I can use Lumos. This? Oh, whoa. Unicorn. No, just a horse. Thank you, Chain Smoker, for the tier one sub. I don't recommend chain smoking, but thank you for subbing. Appreciate that. Thank you. What? Magician, I, I didn't even see the joke you're talking about, but don't don't be weird or you're just gonna get banned again. Anyone try this game on the Steam Deck? Actually, I'm very interested to know if anyone also, yes, tried this on the Steam Deck and how does it run? It was a lion? No, that was definitely a horse. What the fuck? Okay. There's no way. Devs were shooting for the moon with Fable 3 that it turned bad instead of being a good game. I didn't even know there was multiple of them. Oh yeah, Fallout. Fallout uh, had morality system of sorts. Yeah, we've already talked about a morality system and I think there should be a morality system. I've heard there is, I've heard there isn't. Uh, I, I don't know. A lot of people say there's there's not, even though I think the devs said there was, but not that there was a morality system. They just said that there's consequences from using Forbidden spells. So I get that. They don't actually have a morality system like Red Dead 2. But I feel like they should. I think that would really add to just different outcomes and endings. Especially with different playthroughs in your houses. You want to be the stereotypical Slytherin or, or Hufflepuff, right? Did you know the weekend concert you attended a couple months ago is coming to HBO Max next week? Yes, yes. Um, I'm really excited to see it because I didn't even know he was filming at the concert I went to. I think he had four different nights at the um, the concert I was at. So he might or might not have been filming the one the night that I was there. I don't know, but it was so How cool. Nice to see you, my young friend. You're gonna try to find yourself? Of course. Well, first I'm gonna try to figure out if that concert matches the concert videos I have on my phone. So 
If it matches my phone, then I'll be like, oh my god. If it doesn't, then it was probably one of the other nights that I wasn't there. Lumos. Have you finished your assignments? Have you finished these I finished errands? The tasks, Professor. Have you finished well, these errands? Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Well, I don't know about meticulous, but I did as I was asked. I'd advised doing more than the bare minimum if you want to hone your skills as quickly as possible. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Why do Focus. all the potions masters Defindo have a wand up their ass? If you're not paying attention. Very good. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm. Observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. That is a good question. Where do they keep their wands? while they mix their potions. I don't think their robe pockets are that deep. It makes sense. It makes sense. That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? Hmm, it was at that. While well, it lasted at any rate, I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, Success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well... I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. What's up, Patri? People are complaining about stuff that's not in the game. Y'all, the reason it's not in the game. Wait, what? For Fable or for Hogwarts Legacy? Like, what, what specifically? Now that I have Aloha Mora, I'm running around like a mad woman. I know, I'm like, finally I can open all these doors. There's so much loot and there's there's a lot of them too. Yeah. <laughs> For Hogwarts Legacy. Well, Sapo. I think it's not, it, it's fun to think like, oh, we don't have Quidditch. We don't have the Triwizard Tournament. We don't have, you know, this or this. It'd be cool if we had that. Um, like I do that, I write down, you know, all the things that the game could have to make it even better, right? Because I want the game to have longevity. So what do you mean by people are, I guess, like complaining that, about stuff that's not in the game? Like they're really mad that there's not Quidditch and stuff like that, or? They would have done that if the community didn't pressure them to release the game this early. Oh, okay, I see. So. So it was, uh, I see, I understand. I mean, it was like, what, eight years in the making? I hope that they do add more things to it, but I'm fine with waiting like a year if it takes to, to make Quidditch. And um, there's already a multiplayer mod, but I'm willing to wait and I'm willing to buy DLCs. Oh my God, we can break into his office. Let's go.
Now that they know their game is a huge success, for everyone that wants to live their inner childhood and go to Hogwarts, I hope they can just continue to add to the game. Like Sims, people will buy it. We will buy the DLCs if they continue to work on them. Rebellia. Oh, that's it. I was hoping I could steal stuff from his office. And maybe if he finds out we get in trouble, we get detention. That'd be so sick. What are you looking Larry. at? Lumos. Okay, guys. We need Operation Break Into the Other Common Rooms. Another lock. Alohomora. Hey, Grim. Same, same. It's very, very addicting. I haven't felt this addicted to a game since Elden Ring last year. I'll buy anything to live out my Harry Potter fantasy. Same. I really feel that. When I was a kid, I wanted this. Like, I I would die for this stuff as a kid. Obviously, I couldn't afford it. Couldn't, you know, didn't have this at the, at the time. But now, with adult money, it's like, wow. I can actually one day visit the places where they filmed Harry Potter. And buy really overpriced props. Adult money. <laughs> Thanks, Golden uh, Bullet. Is your Elden Ring playthrough on YouTube? Oh yeah, I actually posted like over a hundred boss fights on YouTube. Um, yes, and a speed run and stuff. There's too much Elden Ring content on my YouTube. So this is another one of those uh, Depulso puzzles, I guess. Ah, okay. I kind of want to come back to this later. I want to do some other stuff and we'll come back. When you unlock, doesn't your quality become worse? Sometimes my quality while unlocking goes down. Your quality. Are you saying like you, you drop frames and your game starts stuttering? Is that what you're saying? Rebellion. Lumos. If they don't add DLCs, I'm sure the game will get modded to add things. It's just that modding can't... I don't think they can mod the game to create Quidditch. I don't, I don't know if they can do that. I mean, the flying mechanics are there, but there's no throwing the ball, like, mechanics. The game needs to make Quidditch, and then we can mod, like, who's riding the broom and what you're throwing through the hoops, that sort of thing, you know? So... Same for me, quality drop when unlocking. Uh, then you guys need to turn DLSS on. My DLSS is on quality and it keeps the quality there and I don't have any stutters. So I recommend that. Only if they're able to put scripts into the game that probably require the devs to allow it. So it's only a matter of time before I can unlock stuff. It's a little frustrating. Uh, with it, yeah, for for me, I didn't get Aloha Mora until I think maybe twenty hours into the game. But that's also because I spent so much time exploring that I didn't want to progress through the main story. If you want to just like progress the main story right up to Aloha Mora, you could do that. You totally could. I just wanted to go as slowly as possible. I spent a lot of time just. Uh, Exploring the world, yeah. Oh my god, I freaking love this! I love this minigame. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with mm. my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. 
Then let's get summoning. Whoa. Um. Ahia. What's going on here? In my robe. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? What is this? Yes! What are these little sinkholes or what? What does it do? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. My robe! Oh no. Ah, that's what, what it does. Was I thinking? Yeah, you're dumb. So dumb. Hmm. I wonder if I can like flick it to the right after. Let me see. What if I bring it across fast enough? Maybe it'll be okay. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Oh oh. Okay, that's worth it. That's worth it. That's worth it. Akia. Dude. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Wait, I win. I win. I win. Yes! I win. No, ma no matter what, I win. Just for fun. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> it's okay, I still win. I was trying to hit hers off, but. How am I to top that? That yeah, you gotta, you gotta. It, then. <laughs> it's all in the wrist. Again, I have not learned the three unforg uh, unforgivable curses yet. No, only in the Dark Arts Arena. Class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. When we play again. I really love, I really love this mini game. More like you underestimated me. That was your mistake. Fair enough. But a little sporting spirit wouldn't hurt you. I Correct. happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. I'm sad, chat. I wish I could play this minigame over and over, but it only appears like once every, every, every so hours that I progress through the game. I wish I could just come play this whenever I want. It's really fun. So maybe they can mod it and let me just have this all the time and just play over and over. Or play with friends or something. I don't know why, but I really like this mini game. And I normally don't like mini games in these type of RPGs. Like I don't play Gwent. Um, but I, I like them. <laughs> nice. There's an Easter egg from the Philosopher's Stone in this game. I think you mean the Sorcerer's Stone? I hate it when people say Philosopher's Stone. Ugh, I hate it. I don't know why. I just, it just sounds so weird to me. The Philosopher's Stone. What's a pepper? Oh! I'm so sorry. Dr. Mario, thank you so much for the tier 3 27 months, by the way. Thank you. God damn, this, this thing. I get so immersed sometimes. I just, like, whoosh. Like, I'm just, yeah. I tunnel vision. Thank you so much, Mario, for the huge support. Really appreciate the resub. Thank you. Welcome back, Dr. Mario. Welcome Hope back. you do well. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles right. from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements.
cat send too. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu Wait. if not for... Wait a minute. ...a bit of bad luck. Wait, what? I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. Be I what? as keeper and she as chaser. Uh. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as tryouts for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. Ooh. Ooh. It's not awful that's smart, but also get kicked off Quidditch. What is Felix Felicis? A potion? Also known as liquid luck. And it is illegal in all wizarding sports. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. Damn. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played with the Tengu for two seasons. Oh, you didn't you give didn't up your friend. Tell them what she'd done. Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. Luger, thank you for the 45 months. Thank you very much, Luger. Appreciate it. And Twisted with the one year resub. Thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Do you get the option to make different characters from with different choices, like what house you choose? Um, so there's slightly different dialogue choices, but I wish there was more. There's only two, and it's usually good or bad. You know, like sassy or nice, kind of. It's not really house-related dialogue questions. But yes, you can make any type of character you want. Any type. There's all kinds of um, customization you can do with your character, yeah. She did say groomed twice. <laughs> I know, I know, chat. It is technically philo Philosopher's Stone, but the, in uh, America, they changed to Sorcerer's Stone because Philosopher and Sorcerer are kind of two different things in America. So it would just... I don't know. If I, they changed it, yeah. It really looks like a Bethesda Softworks cloak. It's the Merlin cloak. How much ass have you whooped tonight? We've whooped a lot of poachers tonight. To beat. Hello. Well, this is uh, the Pruitts, not, not the Weasley. Is the game better on controller, mouse, and keyboard? That's honestly up to you. I prefer controller for these type of games. Lumos. If uh, I have a gun and I have to precisely aim, I would say keyboard and mouse. But some people are back and forth because there's so many different spell sets to switch through on controller. And 
you might be better off just using hotkeys, like shortcut keys on your keyboard because there's so many different spells. That's one thing I think I'd like better. I hate having to switch through and find the spell I'm looking for. And even then I can't fit all of them on there, but I could fit like most of them one through nine and extra. So the NPC just fall. He probably fell off his broom. Yeah, he's a noob. Look at him. Oh. <laughs> he's a broom virgin. <laughs> yeah, firmly grasp it. There you go. Nice. Oh. See, you got it. You got it. Wait, actually, I've seen this kid. I think he's getting better. Since we progressed through the game, I, I think he's gotten a little better at this. I think before he was actually falling off. Ah. Okay, before we progress to the main story some more, there's some treasure we can find. Oh, we don't know where it is, though. Duh. <laughs> okay, it looks like abandoned building near the windmill. And then I have to levioso the tree in there. And then something at the bottom of the well. So let's go to the windmill then. You know, now that I think about it, flying on a broom seems uncomfortable. It does. Have you guys ever ridden on a bike where the bike seat was just like so uncomfortable? Or have you ever ridden on a bike where there was no seat? Yeah, I, I feel like that's how it would feel to ride a broom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had a bike and the seat was broken or it fell off and I was like, oh no, and I had to get home somehow and yeah. We are doing the unfor unforgivable curses. I just, oh my god, my, <laughs> my cloak. I haven't learned them yet, guys. They're, I've only done them in the dark arts arena. Okay, we have to find a windmill. Where's a windmill? I think it's... If you guys have ridden a horse before, you know how uncomfortable it is the first time. I think riding a broom would be worse. There is Knott's Castle. There's a windmill over here somewhere. Where's this windmill? Hello, George. Grusio is the best one, in my opinion. Are you a Slytherin? Sounds like something a Slytherin would say. I don't think Grusio is the best one. I think the Killing Curse is the best one. It's it's a one-shot, unblockable curse. It's so overpowered. Where's this windmill? I see to fly around, maybe I'll see it. Grusio can be overpowered with the right talent and Nevada could ever with it. I, I did hear that. I did hear that. It's like a place right out of the I love storybook. horse riding, so I disagree. It's actually quite comfy if you have the right saddle. Well, the first time I went horse riding, I could barely walk two days after. It was so painful. I was walking like a cowboy, but like really like p penguin. It hurt. It hurt. Where's that windmill? I just don't know what side I'm on. It's so easy to lose your sense of direction in this. I think it's the other side.
What's up, Miso? Pavelio. What's a good combo spell for big monsters? It depends. I've learned that Flipendo is really OP against trolls. Only when you do it at a certain time, though. The hell? Oh, there's a troll right here. Wow. Did you look at that? Jesus. Okay. God damn it. I'm trying to switch my spells. There we go. The Quagmire troll. God damn. I keep getting hit every time I take a fucking heal! Can't flip those. It's a level 31 troll also. Oh my god, I'm doing so much damage. Holy shit. What can I do for these guys? Yeah, these sapos. I gotta figure out the sapo weakness. Oh, we have Defendo now. We have Defendo now. And then we also have Arrest of Momentum as well. Does that do any damage? There's something with these frogs. I have to look at like the bestiary or whatever. Oh, there's, these fucking frogs are so annoying. Fuck! <gasps> he's not. He's not doing the thing I need him to do. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing. Do it. Oh my god. He's not doing the thing where he 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 beats his wood on the ground and then I get to flipendo him. Maybe he's OP and or like he's just he doesn't he, he doesn't do the thing. Because he's a higher level troll. Maybe that's why. They're like we we know that you know the weakness and it's too easy. He hasn't done it. It's so weird. Oh, you can flip, uh, use Defendo on their tongue. Okay, that's a good idea too. Hey, this troll's too smart. He's not beating his wood on the ground like he's supposed to. So uh, I don't think I can do much damage to him unless he does that. He's just, yeah, too high of a level. All right, well, I'll come back then. He's out. Interesting. Yeah. The other trolls are really easy because when they do a special move, you can flipendo them. There's massive damage. That troll was not doing it. And it would take me probably 20 minutes to kill him with just my normal spells. <laughs> not, not something I want to do. The mill's left, thanks. Wait, left from which angle? We'll search around. Quagmire trolls appear to be the strongest version. We don't know. Level 31 is the highest I've seen so far. Yeah. Confringo. Rebellion. You aren't looking for a windmill, by the way. We are for our um I think I've done this one already. We are, we, we are for our uh, treasure chat quest. It's it's near the windmill. That's why I need to find the windmill. Wingardium 
It looks like there is... Revelio. Maybe something else? Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Leviosa! Huh, weird. Done already? Nothing in the minimap? Oh no, we're we're not done with this game at all. There's so much more to do. I'm like 40% through the game. But we're going after um, a treasure map right now. Sometimes they're really stupid and won't center. Hmm. The cave is done. Maybe the cave is done. Maybe that's why it's not showing up on the minimap. Maybe because I already did it. I guess, I guess that's probably what it is. All right. Whoa, what is this? Hello, do you have anything for sale? Hello, it's not often I see how good students are during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes, she's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her, and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? Wait, she sells a special broom. An antique family broom. That's, is this a scam? What do you guys think? 2,500 galleons for this antique broom that you can't buy anywhere else. I've never seen this in Hogsmeade. That broom is ugly as hell. Then why would I spend this many galleons for it? This is the classic witch broom. What a scam. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. Well, we scammed her. <laughs> so nice of you to stop by. Yeah. These lacewing flies. I need lacewing flies. They're not going to their places like they should be. Oh, there's the windmill. Okay. So across the windmill, there's a, um, there's a ruin somewhere. She got that broom at Hog Mart. <laughs> I wish I could go inside this windmill. I've tried. It doesn't let me land on it. I've tried to climb it. It doesn't work. It's a scam. Is there an ocean? There is. You can swim, but there will be an invisible wall eventually. All right, let's see. Ruin. Oh, there's the bridge. And then there was a tree in the middle. Let's look at it. Are there magical sharks? There are not. 
there's a sea monster. There's there's a few sea monsters. I've seen this like Loch Ness monster tentacles come out of the the Black Lake. Yeah. No mermaids. I haven't seen any mermen or mer people. The Leviathan's what I saw come out of the Black Lake. All right, so there's the windmill and then across there looks like this ruin. And there's some type of tree in the ruin. Across from... Hmm. The windmill looks pretty far away in this description though. So... Let's see. It could be the other way. Oh wait, no, no. No, this is not it. There is a uh, dueling grounds here. I passed it? Okay, go back. I really haven't ventured to the far ends of the map yet. This place has seen better days. Revelia. Oh. Why is landing unavailable? Let me land. How delightful. What? Okay. Another pitiful beast caught in my Shut up. And rightfully so. Show you. You shouldn't go about profits and be stolen by others, should you? Oh, you see that? So she did some Fringo, but I didn't get to actually do it because I, I dodged before. Let's try that again. I want to see if it works. Oh, oops. Let me try that theory again. Hold up. You may be more skilled than most students, but you're not. And then I do. No, she. Hmm. It's like it's like if you do it right before. You see, I have to dodge like right as I use my spell. Holy fuck! Dies to fall damage from five feet tall. <laughs> Oh, look, money does grow on trees. Okay, so there's the windmill. Oh, wait, there's a lot of ruins over here. Someone petitioned Warner Brothers for magical sharks and mermaids too. Well, no, not sharks, but there are mer people that live in the Black Lake. There's something about that tree. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Revelia. Leviosa. Interesting way See? to hide some treasure. Money grows in trees. Revelia. Ah, I remember this. We the have castle. been here before. Must have been quite stately in its During time. our main story. But I missed something. Ah. Oh no, we've done that puzzle. Okay. All right, let's head back.
You can't imagine how inconvenient Chava was before I had his blue powder. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. How many hours into the game? I'm about 35 hours into the game. And we're about 40% through. Alright, let's see what got. Revelia. Money? You're just lying around? Pavelio. I hate how you can't just land anywhere. Oh. Hey, wait, what? <gasps> no, it's a timer! Oh, what the heck? Oh, man. Okay. I can't do it midair either. Shit. Confringo. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I think I can reach the other one from here. Oh no, I can't. God damn it. If I climb, I can. Yeah, here we go. Oh yes, we got this. We got this. Like a pro! Trials won't get the best of me. On another adventure. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw Hello. a grim, an omen of death. I... I'm not safe. Who is this but lady? If it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. The grim, if you saw one, is an omen. Omens don't attack you, so I doubt an invisibility potion will do you much good. I can see you don't believe me. Fine. Then my blood will be on your hands. No kindness in the youth of today. Still in the market for an invisibility potion? You've changed your mind? <sighs> I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful. Yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't... No. Very well. Hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me first. Crazy lady asking children for potions and emotionally blackmailing them. I mean, I just walked into her house and she was like, The Grim! I need invisibility! I was like, okay. Your field guide. I'm most All right. pleased to be included. I'm done with the snacks. I was eating um, these like chicken, like kind of like pizza crust things. I don't know. I didn't eat dinner, so I was hungry. <laughs> How many Merlin trials have you done? I haven't done enough. Maybe, maybe like less than 10 actually. And yeah, they are supposed to give you more inventory slots. So I really do need to eat them or do them. <laughs> I need to, I need to do them. Um. Hello, Velvet. Yeah. 
So, invisibility potion lady. Okay. You know what? I don't think... She doesn't have a quest, guys. She isn't a quest line. She's a... I guess you would call her... Um, not a side quest, but a, like a, mis a miscellaneous a quest. Witch. So I, I have to remember where this is and come back. I know there's over 90 Merlin trials. A random encounter, like a hidden quest. Yeah, so we're going to just go get an invisibility, invisibility potion now and come back because I will absolutely not remember to do that later. And let's see what happens. Do you have any favorite missions in here yet? Hmm. I like flying. Flying's fun. I like the summoner's puzzles, or I guess mini games. And I love the dark arts arena. One of my favorite things. So fun. So fun. I need to learn the curses. I don't have anything for this at the moment. Wait, she wants more after the invisibility? Oh god. One minute, yay. Hi Deke. Deke's always eating. He's a good house elf. Oh, other NPCs that want different potions. Yeah, that makes sense. I usually have everything on me. Give them a, a snack. I wish I could. I feel like that's a little insulting. If I try to feed him... Like this. Yeah, because he's not a beast. A little insulting. Oh, let's put our... Our new unicorn with the other one. And then they can have babies once we get the breeding pen. Oh no, they're both females. Um, I wonder if they have different colors though. Let's see. Oh, they do. Wow, that's nice. She has like blondish hair and the other one has brownish hair life finds a way <laughs> or is it just the lighting maybe it's just the lighting i only breed the plus ones oh yeah i have to find no i think she has lighter hair color but she has the same type of like weird scribbly gucci symbols all over her Hmm. We'll keep both for now. I'm gonna have to sell one though. I found a shiny kneesel today. I think it's a kneesel. Shiny unicorn has golden coat. Oh my god. It's just the lighting. I have a shiny one. Oh, you're right. It might just be the lighting. Wow, it is the lighting. Okay, so it's not that one's blonde and one's brunette, it's just the lighting. Ah, for a second I was like, cool, they have different hair colors, but no, they're exactly the same. Oh, the needles are the cats. What a weird name for them. I cannot fit any more. So apparently they have a plus sign next to their name. I don't have any shinies yet. Or a star, yeah.
What are you up to now? Oh, okay. Hello, I'm back with invisibility potion. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. All I need. Well, as it happens, I have what you need. Here. Not sure it'll help you, though. Be careful, won't you? Oh, you're a gem, you are. I'll be sure to be very careful. And you be careful, too. No Grim is going to get me. Thanks to you, kind child. You're welcome. I must insist you're so welcome. that you accept this small token oh. of me gratitude. Yes? For your thoughtfulness. Oh, she gave me Maxima, Wigginwend, and Thunderbrew. Let's go. Let's go. She's dead, chat. She's so dead. She saw a grim GG. But hey, we got some loot out of it, so that that's that's all that matters. These rocks have seen better days. All right, time for our date with Natty. We're meeting after dark. Ooh, what is this? Lumos. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's their long story. One I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Lumos. I've always said that travel... She said be quiet! God. Apparently there's a mod chat. Where you can uh, mute this girl. No trolls. This area is considered dangerous by the Ministry of Magic. Aw, sorry chat. You guys can't come in. Sorry. I don't make the rules. This charm is stronger than I had thought. They do not want anyone getting in. Gate duty. No one enters unless they're with the pack of Ashwinders. Anything you take from unwelcome guests Get split. Don't leave until you've been relieved by your replacement. Oh, looks like there's no guards right now. They will not keep us out. We will get this gate open. Somehow. Yeah. How about we lift at the same time? Ready? Let me answer. Finite. Oh, nothing. Lumos. I can't fly over it i wonder why i can't fly over it um maybe some parts have a no fly zone because of the force field i guess that would make you sense can't imagine how shut up travel was I <laughs> it is frustrating that we Bavelia. do not study apparition until our sixth year we could get past this gate instantly so that's why they made us fifth years because if we were sixth years we'd be very overpowered what about back here Lumos. Confringo.
Wait, I'm not supposed to do this? It, it's telling me to go back. It says climb the battlements, but... It, it hasn't said, you know, return to the quest area yet, so... Confringo. Lumos. Get away from me. Oh, I guess this is just loot. Nothing to do with the quest. Can you actually choose your house at the start, or is there a quiz you take? Unfortunately, there's not a quiz you take, so you can do two things. You can either choose your house from the start. I mean, I guess they ask you, like, one question, and that question will they'll recommend your house based on that really obvious question. Um, but you still get to choose regardless of what they recommend. Um, or you can take the real Pottermore quiz at the Wizarding World website. And then you can link your account to the game, which is what I did. And then it just automatically gives you Gryffindor since you linked it. It'll also give you your wand that you make from the website. You have a Patronus in the I website as well, but I don't do know if there's Patronuses yet. Revelia. Hmm. I think I can do it through the wall, but... Revelia. Climb the battlements. They will not keep us out. Mm, let's see. We will get this gate open. Somehow. Lumos. What are Ashwinder eggs, chat? The Ashwinders are a group of people. Why do they lay eggs? Hmm. I wonder what that does. Defendo. Oh, that didn't work. That did it. Oh, they're fire snakes. So they name themselves after some snakes. Interesting. The three headed snake is an Ashwinder? Jeez. What? Why can I climb? Well, I mean, if only I could <laughs> do that while I'm on it. Wait, no! Oh, no. Oh, didn't mean to. Okay. Mm. Shit. Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> she did it on purpose. She does it like automatically, I mean. Shit. Uh, what now? It's weird. It looked like I could climb this, but then she wouldn't. It went back. Oh, thank God. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. I know that I'm supposed to put it here. I know I'm supposed to put it here. But she won't freaking climb. Even though it looks like you totally can. Or climb this pole or something. What? Okay. I guess that works. I, I, yeah, I guess that works. Good, good, good thing in chat. Lumos. Wouldn't it be better if I got on top of it and then Levioso it after? I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Revelio. Yeah, why don't I just Levioso myself, and then, and then I just fly. Because reasons. Heck yeah, cheese in the game. Let's go. That looks as if it might raise the gate. I 
can't believe I had to write this down, but you moon mines don't listen. Push the gate open, don't blast it. If I find it blown to pieces again, I swear it'll be the end of you lot. I guess I could have went around. Three times. Beneath it. Oh my God. Wait, Fief, that's a great combo. That's a great emo combo. I really want a portrait painting to tell me, put that light out. I know, I, 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 I would love that. I do wander the halls at, at night Lumos. with my wand, and I've been waiting for a potion to say that to me. Are you deaf? Put that light out. Okay, so I do have to go around. Wow, look at that. Rain's so big it doesn't work because I have to do it the way the game wants me to. Are you deaf? Oh, I have to freeze it at a certain Damn. moment. Must be another way in. Ah. Oh wait, it looks like Aloha Mora's on the other side. So wait, I think you are- I am supposed to do that. How else would I get around, chat? I think I was definitely- yeah, oh, I mean, I, I do- I do do it, but the way I did it was, I guess, just a little slightly easier. Okay. So let's try that again. Or use a broom to get up there. We can't. It's no fly zone. Hurry! I mean, like, I froze it here. But it's still... Oh! Well done. I will oh. Right I really thought it was like a god of war, like, freeze the... the I knew yeah. you could do it. This way. I will get the Lumos. door. <laughs> Smart but blind. Let's go. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. You guys are like really out of breath. Yeah, restrain the pain. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> I will murder them all. I wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Oh. Blast it! Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get out to the roof. Somewhere. Revelio. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Lumos. What? Why is there... Okay. Really? Yeah. Guardian 
Leviosa. Leviosa. Not the safest place to sneak into. Lumos. And it's okay if I kill them. I don't have to be stealthy. Damn it. The ministry ought to loosen the reins on the dark arts. No better for we No, you're supposed to fly off the map. You're supposed to fly off. There you go. Bye! Revelia. Revelia. Oh wait, we can Petrific kiss Totalis their butts. I need to fix these spell sets. Okay, we also have a rest of momentum. Hmm. Let's use some of our new spells. Wrong one, my bad. Alohomora. Yeah, it's nice to have a bit of each color on on each one i really like the red the red's the most fun but if they have yellow or purple shields then yeah Revelio. for me i just it's hard to remember which spell sets have which spells because i keep changing them constantly hmm Natty's having an easier time of it. I know, controller players. Revelio. Levioso is red. She was eating them off. I don't get the loot. Alohomora. I have played a bit of the Evil Dead when it came out. Yeah, I lined up the red on one single spell set, and then the yellow and purple split in another. So you you do red, 
and purple and yellow on different spell sets. Interesting. I feel like I like to have one on each. Hmm. But that, that, that's another way of doing Rebellion. it. You just have to switch a lot depending on... Because when you fight enemies, they have all kinds of colors to their shields, so... Oh, it's open. Oh my god, there's a Niffler. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my gosh, let's go! Oh, I got a Niffler! Yes! And I got this little mustache ball! I'm poaching from the poachers! Such a good person. It was a shiny? No way. Holy shit. I killed the poachers, poached their animals, and then took their money. Delivery, jobber knolls. Be cautious. Sneasels, clever, and meaner than they look. Watch the claws. Giant purple toads. Wear gloves. Thestrals, know you lot can see it. <laughs> Hippogriffs, have a lead on where to get a pair. Phoenix, where? Hmm. Phoenix. So cool. I would love to have a phoenix. We got a Niffler. Rebellion. Astrid, keep an eye on my stash, eh? It's yours if I mysteriously disappear. That liar cheated us out of what was ours, so I took what I could and hid it here. Twenty damn years and treated no better than fools who've been here two blasted weeks, Manfred. How long is this game? Some people say they beat it in like 40 hours, but honestly, I think it's I think it's easily a hundred hours if you try and do everything. Rebellion. Chat, has anyone 100% of the game? And if you did, how Ewing long did it take? It's all right. There we go. Wait, is his colors actually black and white or is it bugged? Because a lot of the lighting is bugged. Oh shit. Neil, Neil. Come on. We're gonna get kicked to the face. Yeah, it's... Oh, oh, oh. Did you not pay attention in class? It's bugged, he's white. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, interesting. There's like a, a black and white hippogriff. That's, that's, that's new. <laughs> Whee! Let's go. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> That's so sick. Woo! Wow. Shader problems, I know, yeah. There's the Hogwarts Express! Must be returning from an unscheduled run! This is so cool! Wow. Faster, Highwing! So cool! Wow. Oh my gosh, so cool. This is amazing. The lighting is bugged though. It's yeah, incredible. that's so weird. Why is it bugged? <laughs> Damn. This is so cool though. 
No broom is fastest mount. Yeah, I, I, I can see that this is faster than the broom because the broom could not keep up with the Hogwarts Express, but we passed it on the Hippogriff. So yeah, this is definitely our new, our, our new trans transportation for sure. Okay, I think I need to reset the game. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> Oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy Highwing's got some like, uh... Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. Like, like he, he fell into uh, <laughs> an ink swamp does. or whatever. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. Gotta clean him with I came some to dove. The person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. An oil spill. Yeah, he 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 dipped his beak in an oil spill. Yeah. Trust me, flying mount is normal speed for broom. Don't trust the scene. Ah, that's a scam then. Okay. I might have to reset my game because yeah, he looks like a panda. Hmm. We are gonna do the. We're gonna check out the Thestral as well. Ah, uh, also yeah, the the beasts don't have. They don't. They don't boost, obviously. But turn off ambient inclusion. I have learned of a wizard. Oh, he trots. It's so cute. He may be able to provide the. All right, let's try it. What I want it on. Ah, interesting. Meet me at his home. When you have a moment, wow. please stop by the room of requirement. He's he trying. <laughs> Are you like my hi hippogriff? I assume you have news oh, regarding the. You're walking through it. Mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next step? This is so cute. I love it. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> I don't even have to fly. I just want to trot around. This is so cute. Okay, this is way better than the broom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Oh wait, but then I probably can't. Ah! What just happened? Oh. Okay. <laughs> High wing, go. I don't know if he will pop these because I'm supposed to do it with uh my broom. Oh, he does. Wow. I could have sworn that I've been to this... Yeah, I have been to this camp before. It looks like they respawn, though. This is amazing. I need screenshots! I need screenshots! Highwing, go! Okay. God, I wish there was photo mode.
really hard to get these photos. That photo mode. This is amazing. Oh my gosh! Swoop down, pick up a first year student, and drop him in the lake. I wish I could. I like your thinking. Zoom. <laughs> wow. I want to cry. It's so beautiful. Oh, he's actually touching the water, too. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's land. Do a barrel roll, I wish I could. All right, how do I stop? All right, just like that. <laughs> Damn. That was amazing. Okay, I think this is my... This might be my top three favorite games now. Just because of the fan service. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. <laughs> yeah, he popped all the Chinese spy balloons. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> away, oh. high wing. Away! But then if I want to land, I just... Okay, I just have to... Slow down now. There we go. Wow. Imagine you see me trotting through the campus on this hippogriff. Nice. What do you do? <laughs> It'd be so cool if the NPCs actually reacted no need to, race now, my to friend. things. If they reacted to the hippogriff, like, whoa, what is that? Is that a hippogriff? Like, that'd be so immersive, right? If they reacted to me like shooting spells everywhere and they're like, "Hey, stop that!" Like, really like I'm gonna tell, that. I'm gonna tell on you. I wish they would. That'd be so cool. You could never do one. The cross one's duel is to beat. God, so cool. Such a good boy. Do anything, madam. Why do I gotta put him in the bag like that? It will be a most gruesome detention. Yes, Madam Kagawa. Marvelous dedication to the sport. Oh, wait, I gotta... We need to talk? Wait, what? Sebastian sent me an owl uh, post saying we need to talk. Sebastian, what is this about? I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. My efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. <gasps> I want to go inside the Slytherin common room. My leaves changed, but I don't see pumpkins. I'm sad. Maybe the pumpkins will come. Oh, wait. Wait, where am I? Oh, here, there. here we go. Maybe the pumpkins come later. Maybe it's the start of fall, but you have to progress a little bit further through the main story for the pumpkins to show up. That might be what it is. We do new game plus other pot houses. Yes, I will be playing each house. Yeah. Where do we get our Twitch drop rewards? Um, so you... You have to go to your settings on Twitch. There'll be an option for drops. 
And then there you have to connect your Twitch account to your, I believe, Warner Brothers or Avalanche account. It'll tell you like the link on the drops setting page. If you go into your settings, you'll see it. And then you just link your accounts and then uh, it'll tell you once you've completed your drop, you go back, you collect it, and then it should get it in your game. Yeah. Can you see them bringing out DLCs for this game? Absolutely. We've been talking about DLC since it released. Since it released, I was like, okay, Quidditch DLC, uh, Dementor Triwizard Tournament DLC, uh, Patronus DLC, like Ministry of Magic DLC. Like I've just been making a list. Yeah. Hoping. Prayage. Copium though. I love Hogwarts. Yes, I do. I love Hogwarts. How about you? I love Huggy Huggy Hogwarts. Teach us something, please. Thank you, Rusties, for the 43 months. Thank you. Appreciate that. Rusties, are you a fellow Gryffindor? Owl exams. Oh, yeah. I have a full list of things I want to see. Oh, look, there's someone actually in here. Hello. Oh. <laughs> uh, I get a lot of Skyrim vibes from these DLC from this from these NPCs. Hello, <laughs> uh. Mora. Where'd you get your robe? Exclamation point. Robe or is it cloak? I don't know what the command is. cloak. Wait, is it a cloak or is it a rope? It's a robe? The cloak. Maybe we should change the command to, to, to robe then. <laughs> Lumos. Spooder webs. Rebellion. Cats and hype. Hi, Eric. Thank you for the 17 months. Eric, are you planning to play Hogwarts Legacy? And if so, what house are you? I'm so excited to finally complete these puzzles whenever they Tell me how to do them. Robes have sleeves, cloaks don't. Well, then it's a robe. Merlin's robe. Robes don't have hoods. Okay, well, then it's a clobe. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, history of magic. This is history of magic. It's crazy uh, in the books, they don't mention this in the movies, but a ghost teach history, teaches history of magic. Because only a ghost would know all that knowledge. Doors are algebra. I heard, I heard, but I don't want to complete them until, until the game tells me how to. Because they will eventually. I just don't want to do anything early. Professor Bins. Oh, they don't tell you? Oh, well then I guess I can just try to figure them out then. Pavelia. Oh. There's so many secret rooms, it's insane. Sphinx statue. Used by witches and wizards for centuries to guard valuables and secret hideaways. Due to its intelligence and affinity for puzzles and riddles. Oh yes, we can check out our um, our new mount as well. The, the Thestral mount we should have too. Revelia. Let 
Eric, you're Slytherin? According to Angela. Mmm. I feel that. If I asked my family what Hogwarts house I'd be in, they'd probably say Slytherin too. Oh, these are the special puzzles. Yeah, I want to do these later. I'm going to come back to that. Lumos. Thank you, non toxic for the 100 biddies. Thank you, thank you. There's a chest you open that tells you outside of one of the secret rooms that has four of these doors in there. That has like four of these doors in there, okay. The game has a specific door with a puzzle solution on a note, but you might as well figure them out yourself. Ah, I see. So it's just like one note then. Just one note. So I, I must have passed it. It tells you when you do the gobstone side quest. Interesting. Uh, the gear is low level. They're usually meant to be opened early in the game. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, well, we'll have to... I have to start doing them now then. Shit. That's uh, unfortunate. I'm really bad at math, so... Chat will have to teach me math. Well, shit. I know that there's one next to the Ravenclaw common room. I thought that was how you get in the Ravenclaw common room, but then I see them all over the map. I'm still getting lost in here after even over a week of playing. Deke. Deke wants to speak to me about the room requirement. The plight of the house elf? What is going on? Chat, what's your worst school subject? Mine is math. I hate math. So is it something that will be in our inventory that will guide us or not? Apparently it is a note that you pick up. Yes. Spew. Deke yeah, Deke like wants to, to recruit me into spew. That's fine, I'm down. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <gasps> what is going on? Oh my gosh! There's a new Bavarium! <gasps> I have not seen any other Bavariums. Oh. Oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. I do. As Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave, and he knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Hobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. I can't believe we have another Bavarium. All right. 
This is going to be a new biome. Apparently each varium has a, a different biome. Let's turn this back on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, wow. The frame rate is significantly better when you go in a vivarium. Wow. Wow. And I can swim. Gets eaten by shark immediately. This is amazing. <laughs> so this is why it took him so long to make the game. Yeah, yeah. But I am here for it. I appreciate blood, sweat, and tears. All hail the devs. Wow. Lumos. Oh, there's a whole cave in here. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, we do have more beasts that we can put in this vivarium. This is just, wow, it's so cool. It's even better than the last one. Wow. Oh, this Niffler looks interesting wait i can i can i can put my my thestral and my my hippogriffs in here ah he's bugged because of the ambient oh wait maybe it's just some lighting just some lighting oh my gosh i can i can put my thestral in here too kind of a weird combination but um wow Didn't mean to do that. Wait, if I put my hippogriff in here, I'm not going to hurt you. Then, can I still ride him? The lighting looks kind of weird at some angles, but you can. Wow, it's crazy. So, do I only have one thestral then? Maybe I can find more thestrals and more hippogriffs build in here too. I know that I can place blueprints, like the toys and the auto feeder, but build? I guess I guess I can place some like walls and stuff. Do frogs need to be brushed?
They do now. I can rename them. Yeah, I, I renamed... I named... Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, I, I named my beast in the other Varium. It's so cool. Oh, my God. Okay, let's... Uh, let's switch out. I'll bring the birds here, and I'll maybe put the Thestral in with the unicorns and the other one. Oh, whoa. Everything's all right now. Oh, they do have some different, uh... They do have some different features, guys. If you, if you look at the birds, their little hair flap has gold versus brown. So it's not just two different colors. There's a couple different features, too. And the orange one. Let's take the Niffler to the other one, too. Yeah. Switch them out. Wow, so cool. Ooh. We won't have room soon for others. Well, apparently we get four variums, so we will have room eventually. I can conjure things in the varium, yes. I, I guess I could put all this stuff in there. Aw, Deke's working so hard. Hi, Sensei. What are you gonna play once you're done with Hogwarts? I don't want to play anything else. Um, probably... Yeah, we have to get a second toy box. Uh, probably the... Is Breath of the Wild sequel. I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, so I'm planning to play that game before the sequel comes out. I heard you can mod the Vivarium and have infinite beasts, yeah, but I feel like that'd be really overcrowded too. Go unicorns, get the bubble. Oh, they really like that bubble. It's an unpoppable bubble. I mean you no harm. I want an orange male. Let's see. I have two females here. I need to sell one of these. I'll look after you. Oh, here's our Niffler. He's a... Is he gold? Is it a gold Niffler? Wait, he looks gold, but he doesn't have a, a, a plus next to his name. I thought he did. That's weird. He looks gold, but he's not a shiny, technically. Nifflers are many colors. Oh. Niffler has ascended. Oh yeah, Sons of the Forest. Oh my god, I really want to play Sons of the Forest, but Hogwarts has my heart. It's hard. It's hard. It's a platypus. I'll name him Perry, then. Star Wars Survivor's coming out next month? I thought it was delayed. I should name the other unicorn. No, I'm going to sell it. I want to get one male and one female because we want to breed them. Well, this Niffler is, is, is gold. Let's see. We will name him. Where is he? Come here. Wait, he's not gold. He's brown, but it's it's the lighting. The lighting is kind of weird. See, it changes in different lighting settings. Yeah. Ah, interesting. He's just like a brown spotted one then. We'll name him... Her. Um... Luna.
Wait, can I go up here? No way. What the heck? There's more over here. For a vivarium, but you can only hold like four different creatures. It's pretty big. I feel like I could hold at least like six in here. And I still have a lot of space. So cute. Let's uh let's go. It's been so much time in here though. Wow. Since the forest uh is the forest sequel that's coming out next week, yes. Next week. Um you can build in there. Apparently you can build everything in there that you can in here. And then some blueprints you buy at Hogsmeade, toys and auto feeder. And then I'm gonna put my birds in the ocean biome. Beach biome. It's crazy how fast it loads. I don't have a loading screen or anything. Almost seamless. I'd say God of War is probably the most seamless transition, but still, this is, this is, yeah, wow. No, God of War has the whole loading screen that it pretends not a loading screen that you run around, but. Hey, Kajobi. Okay, and they look like they're meant to be on this beach. And then we got the frogs. My Thestral is... Let's put the Thestral in the other one. Time to rename Hippo to Buckbeak. I like High Wing. Buckbeak isn't born yet. Oh, it's capacity. God damn it. Fine. Okay, okay. I just want to see what we... What kind of loot we get from the Thestral, and then we'll move on to our quests. Oh, I think I already got one. So it's a... I don't know, some type of... He doesn't have fur. It's hair. Where? I don't see any hair. It's like a hairless cat. You say they're cute, but... Does the Wizarding World have gods? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, it wasn't really explained. I feel like Merlin is kind of their... They don't have gods, though. No. Estral's offspring look possessed. Aww. Oh, they did such a great job with the pet animations. I am very, very impressed. Yeah. All right. Meet Sebastian in the Slytherin common room. Let's just sell some of these beasts on the black market. Make some coin. And then we'll head over there. We can buy more blueprints for our variants. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Festivals are cute. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. I'm allergic to cats. I should probably have a hairless cat, but I don't want one. <laughs> I 
Actually, I take it back. I learned the hard way when I went to a friend's house and she had two hairless cats. And I was like, wow, this is so cool because I'm allergic, but I love cats. And after petting them for a while, I started getting really bad allergies. And I was like, oh my gosh, my allergies are so bad. And she's like, that doesn't make sense. They're hairless, like they're hypoallergenic. I was like, Ugh, that's really weird. Uh, really bad allergies, worse than haired cats. And I Googled it and it's not cat hair that makes you allergic. It's actually their saliva. So they lick themselves, they cover themselves in saliva and then you pet them. That saliva is what makes you sneeze. So, if anything, the hairless cats are just covered in their own saliva, regardless of hair or not. They, they lick themselves and, yep. <laughs> Lumos. The more you know. Where's the... So there really is no hypoallergenic pet. They say that with the cat hair, it can be more, uh, it, it can cause your allergies to be worse because the hair like floats in the air versus hairless cats, it's just on them. But still. Lumos. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. What is dropping from the ceilings? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? A unicorn's only 120? But they're so hard to get. Really? I'll not mind seeing you. I think that was again. a scam. Consider yourself welcome. What the fuck is that? Whooper? That thing is freaking scary looking. That's why it isn't worth it. Well, I don't need two female unicorn because I can't really fit Sometimes that many. It seems all rosy but once we start meat. breeding them in the pens, we're gonna make a lot. Lumos. I'm surprised the unicorns aren't worth at least double the coin from any other animal. Detroit with the prime. Thank you very much, Detroit, for using your prime on me. Appreciate that. Thank you. Welcome in. Not when you breed them and sell their babies. Yeah. And that's how we make a flow of cash. That is passive income right there. Stonks. Just let me know if there's something in particular Potato. you're looking for. Sorry, no potatoes today. Oh, I don't have the breeding pens yet. Damn. No breeding pens, damn it. Chopping station, plant byproducts. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? A hopping pot. We'll brew random potion, that's kind of cool. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Lumos. I said the Slytherin common room. Perfect. Breeding.
Pink Pens is unlockable through a quest. I see. Okay. Until third season? Ugh. Oh, damn. I'm trying to make... I'm trying to progress with the game as slow as possible by doing all the side quests and things first. Like, I want to cherish Halloween before it's Christmas, and then... Damn. It goes by so fast. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? Yes. I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Let's go. Nice. Frosty, thank you for this uh, tier one sub. Thank you so much, Frosty. Appreciate that. Enjoy the emotes. Once you get that breeding pen, Keep an eye out. you're going to make so Never much money. Watching. Although that hasn't stopped oh. us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Can your character turn into a cat? No, I cannot turn into a cat because I am not a... any magus. Prettiest shaker cup? This is the, um, the unicorn g -full shaker. Yeah. This is not the correct cap. Uh, the cap is actually white, the one it comes with. I just put on random caps every day. But yeah, it's a really pretty, like, diamond, rainbow, unicorn shaker. It should still be available. I hope they keep it permanently, because it's it's the best shaker for sure. There he is. Yeah. And you can use code Katzen to get 30% off. If you want to get a really pretty shaker. But I just pick random shakers out of my cabinet and random caps and just put them together. So this is not the correct cap. I'm just lazy. Didn't you have to use the here? app for it? You did have to use the app when it first came out because it was exclusive and limited time, but now I believe it's it's out permanently on the on the page, on the front page. Not front page, but the shaker page. It should be there, yeah. How many shakers do you have? Yes. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. He really looks like a... I hope I... Like a we little Tom Riddle. A little Tom, Tom Riddle Jr. Lumos. These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. 
It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Chat, there is something about the two of them. I really, really love their voice actors and their dialogue. Something about the two of them is just so... It's just so casual and it feels so immersive. Like, I feel like these are real characters from the books. They just sound like they'd be from the movies. Like, Ominous and Sebastian, they're just... I don't know, their voice actors just nailed it. And I think the dialogue too, I just... Yeah, definitely the coolest characters that I've Revenio met. May help. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just the voice actors just sound like they'd be from the movies, just so spot on. Confringo. They also feel really close. Like their their banter is really nice. I just think they nailed it with these that two characters. That went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. I do think the Slytherins have been the mo the best characters so far. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's different timings. Let's see. It's like a long one. Mm, maybe it's in order? Both along. It's the shortest Confringo. one. So it's not timing, it might just be order. Hmm. Pavelio. Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually listening. Oh, look. I do that. He has, has an S on it, too. Interesting. Have I been in here? All right, let's see. Confringo! Yeah, so you just have to do them fast. Nothing I else hope to we're it. We're ready for this. Leviosa. Lumos. First playthrough, yes. I've heard there's a lot of performance issues with Christmas time in Hogwarts. Dark, yeah. Ominous corridors. My favorite. Ominous corridors. No <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. <laughs> Looks like a locked door. You may want to look around. I must prove my point. We don't need to use the dark arts as family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He now knows how I access the corridor's entrance, and there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctura on Gaunt. A journal entry signed by Noctua Gaunt. Noctura Gaunt, Gaunt. the aunt. Ominous. Your family was here. I know. Rebellia. She was my aunt. You knew? Lumos. And didn't tell me? Ominous, the journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. There may be something to this pile of rubble. Repair it. Rubble formed a relief Lumos. of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Wait, that means he's a parcel tongue. He can. The he can. The voice is ancient, sinister. He can open the door because he's related to Salazar Slytherin and Voldemort. That's so cool. He's a Gaunt, and the Gaunts are Voldemort's mother's side of the family, and they're all related to Salazar, Salazar Slytherin. So he and his family can all speak possible tongue you hear a voice it started when you repaired that relief i hear a whisper saying speak to me i'm a parcel mouth yeah i can hear and speak to snakes nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from salazar slytherin i'd like to be able to talk to snakes you might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue it's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. 
I'm not. <laughs> I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. Lewis. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so cool. It worked. Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Revelio. I told you. Lumos. Slytherin is the best house. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Confringo! Where we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Lumos. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Salazar Slytherin buried the scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I'm a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through Noctura. I feel like she entry. probably died. She it got stuck and probably starved to death. Being unwelcome. Dial requires focus. Cool. Noctua said the same. It may take practice. Solve it. What? <laughs> Matching the symbols what? did open it. Lumos. I'm about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. There's bound to be a match. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> hmm. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. I don't even know. I. <laughs> Oh shit! Salazar slid it attacked me. Easy. Okay, 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 fine. Um, so I just need a uh, the. I see it. That sounded promising. Lumos. another <laughs> dial solved. <laughs> Impressive, nice work. It might take a million years to practice, does, done. <laughs> well, the first one, I kind of just moved some stuff around, but the second one actually tells me what the code is. Extraordinary. This journey is painful, but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become. I know it. Noctua references painful and Rats. arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part Rebellion. I'm wearing. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Lumos. Whoa. Revelio. Hmm. It's in there. Lumos. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Confringo. Another. Not the welcoming sort, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. I failed the dial, and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. The scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. Lumos. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. 
What does it say, coward? The gate. Crucio. I think we're locked in. Crucio. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Let's go. The oh, fuck? I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar created a malicious challenge. Oh, in my last correspondence to my brother, I invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have to lead him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we parted on better terms. Ominous. That's so cool. A skeleton. And Noctua's last this is journal so cool. entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. You can't he shoot on yourself? It. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. <laughs> All of this Same. could have been avoided. Same. Okay, I kind of want to take off my wacky outfit just because I really love this quest. And I kind of want to take it seriously. He's so pissed. Hood up for sure. <laughs> Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. I'll do it. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If Teach you me, it, Senpai. You will regret it forever. Aw, is this a turning point in the game then? Depending if I get the good or bad ending. I'll do it. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> so Ominous is Tom Riddle's uncle. He might be his great uncle. Oh, I'm doing it. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, oh. you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. There's three options. Wow. Cool. 
We need a family tree for all these characters. There, there is a family tree. You can Google it. Um, wow. Hmm. I'm excited. I wonder if, yeah, if this choice matters, and it seems like it does. So there might be a few different outcomes here. I think I will do the the Gryffindor choice, which would be, I want to learn it, but you can cast it on me. And then during my Slytherin playthrough, I'll cast it on him and we'll see what happens. Yeah. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Shit. So that nails through the hand. Ready? I'm ready. What? She looks like she has a bad stomach ache. I want to see like screaming and flailing and pain like you're lit on fire. She uh, took that like right? a champ. That pain. It was excruciating, but I'll survive. <laughs> Let's keep moving. We made it. She was like, ah, we bad stomach ache. That was it. Slytherin Scriptorium. Ooh. I can't believe we're here. Well, I want to see the other outcomes. It'd be really cool to see what happens if, if I don't learn the curse. You just don't go. You just, you just leave. You don't get to see this. Or if you cast it on him, then maybe Gaunt doesn't like me. I don't know. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. Lumos. Yeah, I'm going to want to see that Let in the different uh, playthroughs. Around a bit. May I have a look? That's definitely worth playing a few times also just to see. Oh, God. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I can't persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's, that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own. He, uh, that, that he understood why the calabre of students needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts in the matter. Thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I know now I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views. A descendant willing to reverse the damage that others have so cariously thought, wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that will serve only to stain my legacy. So cool. Oh, hey, that liquid's very old, centuries old. Okay. Lumos. Why is that a, an option? Lumos. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. Who are his parents? For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. Yes. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both Bavelia. of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. Lumos. We could have died. 
We must swear never to do this again. So cool. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. I wish there was photo mode. Frizio. Yep. Hey, where'd they go? Ominous. Oh, about your own. Lumos. Please, Sebastian. We use Rizio I on Professor Garlic. What I said before. We swear right now never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. That was I my favorite quest. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Wait, wh where are they going? Hey! Wait, why, why are you parting ways? Why are you parting ways? Where are you going? I think Sebastian's storyline is the best in the game. And that was my favorite quest so far. Something about Sebastian and Gaunt, uh, Ominous Gaunt, the two of them, just their voice actors nailed it. Their dialogue is so natural. The banter between them, it really feels like they are friends. Like I believe them. It feels like they would be in the movies as friends. They're just the two best characters. Something about their chemistry is really, really nice. And um, there's other decent characters, but I think those two are definitely the most uh, impressive they've added. Yeah. You actually see conflicting characters in a more natural sense about morality, which is nice. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's really cool Duncan to see his reputation to you. how just... They argue with each other, but they're also friends, and yeah. Seems he more main story than the main. Fight. It does. That was the best quest so far. I wish there was more of that. Um, I think they, they nailed it with that quest, and hopefully they learn and keep in the future. If they make more, they can do more stuff like that. Um, yeah, because to be honest, a lot of the quests feel a bit too cute and polite. I like the, the dark quests and, like, you know, choosing options between lesser of two evils and having consequences and someone gets hurt and, you know, when characters are just super nice all the time, it's fine, but, you know, it's kind of boring. I like seeing characters argue and banter and, like, mess with each other and that's what's entertaining. Love the pumpkins. Like an old married couple. <laughs> the quest line just keeps getting better. Yeah, that was a side quest, by the way. So, oh my god, guys, we know Crucio. Let's do it. Wait, there's also a side quest here. What the hell? What is this? Handy resource indeed, your field What quest is this? I'm most pleased to be included. I guess we can check this out real quick. Who? I'm not going after the cats. I would never. But I am curious to see if it works on them. I'm I'm just curious. Just curious. Huh. Is this a new side quest? I guess it is. We're gonna go inflict pain after we see what this is about. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. 
The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Wands Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. How has Wizardkind fallen short in its treatment of merpeople? Well, we've consistently deigned merpeople as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the Ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? What do you imagine a liaison to the merpeople would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I'd perfect my mermish, of course. And I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. What is it about the mer people that interests you so much? <gasps> I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the muggle world. The oldest known mer people, sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has selkies and Ireland is home to merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank we get to you, see the mer people. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. What? What? That'd be so sick. Oh I my gosh. I can't wait to hear about what you find. That'd be so sick. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know she, it. So she can't swim? It is a really short side quest, but it was so good. Yeah. Funniest thing hearing you say that and others agree is that uh, it's exactly what I said about the Potter movies when I they first came Potter out. Stone. I was too old to watch the childish movies and fall in love. But everyone who was young enough at the time fell in love and now old enough to recognize the darker themes are better stories and the other stuff is just boring. I, I disagree. Um, there's dark themes in in all the movies, even the first one when they're like when they're childish kids. Um, even though, even the first one has a little bit of, like, violence and stuff, right? Like, he literally kills Professor Quirrell, like, burns him alive. And then the second movie, he fights a giant snake and sticks the sword through its face. And, and, um, you hear about ghosts and how they died and, yeah. And, like, it's dark. A lot of people die. Um, every movie uh, is dark. I think it's darker and darker. People get tortured you see it they're screaming like there's blood and stuff obviously it's not like gore everywhere but yeah it's it's it gets darker and darker more people die in really brutal ways it's it's definitely um adult themed i would say the first the first movie is probably the most like childish but after that it only gets darker and darker i would say the start of Often the third movie is like the scariest. The third movie is like the, the Dementor one, and the themes are really dark and creepy and stuff. And then the fourth one is like it dives into the deep end. The fourth one is like you see death on screen, of like a, a beloved character, and then it just like goes like even darker from there. I would say like, even watching those movies as an adult, if I didn't watch them as a kid, I would still enjoy them.
I would say, you know, movie three through seven are adult themes, right? Maybe four through seven, but like more than half of them are are for adults. They're they're dark and yeah, just the first one, kind of first two are obviously a little more for kids, I guess. But I don't know. I remember being a kid and I was scared of the Dementors and I was scared of the Basilisk and yeah, like. I watched Harry Potter as a kid, but I didn't become a fan. Did you watch all of them or just like the nice first movie? To see you, my young friend. Oh yeah, when Quirrell had like two faces. I was scared of that as a kid too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone gets possessed by Voldemort in both the first two books, which is very dark. Yeah, the, the, I'd say the second movie. I mean, you see Ginny. Um, she kills a bunch. Well, she, you don't see it, but she kills a bunch of chickens or something and she uses their blood to smear on the chamber of secrets <laughs> she writes in blood on the second movie they're like 12. it's dark like obviously the books go into a little more detail but uh but yeah they're, they're darker than you think yes they have a lot of really like sweet cute like it's christmas everyone eat and like wow like this is so magical but they're fucking dark <laughs> yeah in the book, it describes more detail of like, of some 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 darker uh, things they just left out of the movies too. So, yeah, yeah. Apparently, she slaughters chickens and uses their blood to write on the Chamber of Secrets, because in the movies we don't know whose blood it is. I thought it was hers, but I'd sink like a stone. Yeah, I had a friend who never watched Harry Potter until college and she fell in love as an adult so i think anyone can honestly yeah but if you're looking for like really super adult then i mean you're not gonna get that from star wars lord of the rings or harry potter you're gonna get that from like game of thrones if you want to see like people getting decapitated and uh raped yeah that's very adult but i would say harry potter is on par with Star Wars and Lord of the Rings of, you know, kind of for kids, but fantasy with a lot of adult themes, but they don't show anything that's rated R, so. What are you up to now? Yeah, but, um, I think it's I think it's definitely for all ages. Why like my mom, my mom swim. loves the movies. As an adult, she rewatches them a lot. Um, let's see. So she wants me to go to caves, but I want to use Crucio real quick. The fact that most of the time they went into stuff ready to die. 90% of the time, Harry survived by pure luck. Wait, what? I mean, yeah, it's plot armor. It's in a lot of movies. The whole idea of the day we turn 18, we have to automatically grow out of all the things considered by society as childish is just ridiculously uh, ridiculous. Honestly, I'm 27 and have stuffed Appa on my bed. Yeah, I, I rewatch a lot of old cartoons um like if you think about it star wars is for kids but a lot of adults love star wars and i would say the same with lord of the rings and harry potter and just those type of things and no i, I don't think there's an age limit for anybody hey what are you doing are you oh you're fighting spiders He's about to die. Ah. Oh my god, I feel bad for the spider. I feel bad for the spider. It's not my fault you're a deadly great spider. I feel bad for that spider. I don't care about crucioing the people, but I feel bad for the spider, not gonna lie. There's a niffler. Don't tell me you can crucio the, the animals. 
I'm not gonna try it, but... Fuck. Alohomora. Yeah, I don't care if you kill the people. I don't but the but the but I feel bad for the animals and the monsters. Wait, that's weird. Do cooperate, won't you? It said you can't I thought you can't I thought you can't catch caged beasts and now I can't. What's that about? What? There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Was he not technically caged in this type of cage? Let's see, let's test it again. They told me before it was like you cannot capture caged beasts. After I uncaged it, and I was like, okay. See? Caged beast cannot be rescued. I guess the Niffler cage was different than the other cage? <laughs> You can when they run out of the cage? I mean... Yeah, let me see. No, no, no! No! Damn it! Let's see. Let's test that theory. No! Things are really fast. <gasps> Where'd it go? Revelio. No! Where'd it go? Damn it. I could have swore I tried this before though, and it kept saying you can't capture cage beast. I Damn. Just need to find some more people. Darn. Sneasels be smart. I don't like that name. For them. Alright, let's just find some poachers real quick. Oh god. The hell? Rebellion. Jeez, what the heck is this? Progress notes. Week one, etiquette may have been too ambitious. Um, week two, only produced a string of grunts. Week three, he has the right temperament, but lashes out. What? Trolls. It's a, it's a, it's a troll. They're trying to train a troll. Thank you, Twizit, outsider for the prime. Appreciate the prime. Thank you very much, outsider. Welcome in. Huh. <gasps> Guys. Whoa! Come here, kitty. Nope. No! Now, now, I'm only trying to help. God damn. No, please, please, kitties, kitties. No, come back. Levioso. No. Shit. Shit. Oh, okay, I got one. There we go. Everything's all right now.
One more. Settle yourself. I'm Rebellia. Good kitty. Let's go. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's a spider den nearby. I want to find some poachers to Crucio. Oh. God, spiders. Okay. Honestly, I feel bad doing that to the spiders. They're just animals. Let me go Crucio some humans instead. Need to find a poacher. It's a dog. Damn it. It's fine to torture humans. Here? We lived here, I wonder. Hello? On. Yeah, we need to go farther out. They're too close to the. Yeah. It's not gonna work on NPCs, I assume. I assume. Oh wow, yeah. It doesn't even like work unless I'm locked on, which Wait, what? It doesn't even let me okay, so it's not locked on. It has to be in combat. Only in combat, it looks like. Okay. Well. Interesting. Okay, let's try one more time. Where are those damn poachers? I thought spiders were only in the Forbidden Forest. No, finding them everywhere. In the castle or villages, it won't use dark magic. I, uh, I assumed so. Here we go. Wait. Huh. I don't trust Ranrock. I'll yeah, tell here you we that. go. Hey. Hi. Hi. It lasts a while. Patrific is You're the one who stole our goblin helm. Incendiary well, goblin helm, but then it fell. Wow, that's a long time. You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? You're about to wish you were here. Rookwoods don't go down easy. That's crazy. That's so cool. Impressive. All right, I'm out. I just want to try it. Explosive. Hi. It's a long cooldown for them. Once we get um, some other spells, some, the, all, all three, that'll be really cool. Like the Dark Arts Arena was so fun. Yeah, po poachers love Petrificus Totalis. It's all you hear them saying. Whee. I love just flying around the trees. It's so peaceful. Love it. Are you gonna shiny hunt beasts? Yes, I'm gonna go on. Uh, I'm gonna be hunting for shiny beasts. Yes. It'd be fun if I could stop right there. Knock them out while on the broom. Drive by Crucio. Yeah, exactly. But the talent for basic cast reducing cooldown gets re goes really fast. Uh, I can keep IP perma. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. Yeah, and I heard that's really broken because of it. 
It's so fun to fly around. Wait, why am I not using... Let's check out the Thestral. What do you have in store for me this time? Oh, I don't have my Thestral mount yet. That's weird. Or... Wait. How do I change it to Thestral? Yeah, it's bogged out here. The uh, ambient occlusion. How do I change it to Thestral? Oh, gear. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so maybe, maybe later. Ah, okay. Why is there fire coming from the broom? It's just my skin. And oh, I have to unmount first. Thanks, chat. Fox Scott with the Prime. Thank you so much for using your Prime. All the new subbies today. Appreciate that, Fox. Welcome in. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, they need to they need to fix this. <laughs> How about some sightseeing? This just looks a lot less comfortable. Time to go a little quicker. What the? The lighting is weird sometimes. They did such a good job with this. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Whoa, whoa! You can't land here. Okay. There we go. Yeah! Faster! You can't imagine. Can they swim? <gasps> what? They can swim too! Oh, that's so cool. Aw, I love that. They swim too. Aw. I don't know if Buckbeak wants to get his feathers wet. Oh, I mean, um, high wing, but. It's so cute. <laughs> they swim too. It's like a little boat ride. Yeah. Oh, wait! I'm in the water! <laughs> oh, oopsies. That's cute. So cute. Wow. I love that. Yeah, it's the little things. It's the little things. You prefer hippogriffs or, or thestrals? I think the hippo hippogriffs are better. They're just fluffy and cute, but the thestrals are really sweet natured, so. I'm gonna try something. You okay with getting your feathers wet? All right. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, can he fly mid water? Oh, no, no, I keep pressing this circle. My bad. Okay. Because if you're in the water, you can do this with your broom. Big duck. Oh, he looks like a big duck. But you can't with, um, with high wing. Yeah, you can't. He does look like a big duck, like a swan. He's so beautiful. 
<laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh.